tengo que decírtelo. Te quiero. En fin, ¿eh? no sé si esto te hará cambiar de planes o no, pero... He pensado que deberías saberlo. Gunther. Oh. Yo también te quiero. Seguramente no de la misma manera. Boy, I hope not. Honestly, I think, could, could you imagine like a 20-year obsession with someone? I mean, 10 years is bad enough, but 20 years is just sad. No one told you that was gonna be this way. Your job's no joke, you broke. Your love lost you away. No, I'm not gonna make it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Pure accident. Uh, the night before the first episode, when I went in, I was an extra, a friend of mine wanted to practice, they were stylists, and they wanted to practice bleaching someone's hair. And since I didn't have a lot of hair up there to begin with, I said, why not, I'll be a guinea pig. So they bleached my hair, and I showed up as coffee guy the next day. The producers liked the look, and they said, keep it. And I had to keep it for 10 years. My personal opinion is that uh, the characters are kind of archetypes and that we all know people like these characters and they're relatable, you know, they're, they're foibles and they're, you know, their failures and their successes and their loves and losses and things like that. And now there's a new generation of fans, so it's a bit timeless, you know, it's not, it was shot in the 90s, but it's not like necessarily a 90s show, except for maybe the fashion and the hairstyles. Y cuando esté en un café, tomando un café, o ve a un hombre con el pelo más brillante que el sol. Pensaré en ti. <risa>